just say that before this election, I really didn't know who I was or what was important to me. But now, weeks later, after looking deeply into my soul, I still have no idea. <laughs> I know less than he knows. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lincoln, but wait your turn. So I ran for president to find out who I was. And what I think I'm finding out is that I'm not a good candidate or a good friend. So I withdraw from the race, and I think everyone here should vote for Sean. He's really the best friend you could have. No, I'm not. I'm worse than you. <laughs> I made up every lie he told. I've known Corey all my life, and he really is honest, loyal, and decent. That's what you are, Cor. That's all you need to be. I withdraw from the race, too. Well, Mr. Freeney, we're both out. Yes, well, I'm sure you'll do well in the private sector. Wait a second. I wanted to be president. I wanted my life to mean something. You want to go grab a burger? I'm out. <laughs> well, Mr. Turner, your little experiment in democracy has left the eighth grade leaderless for next year. Too bad. I was looking forward to Matthew's five-day weekend. Okay, folks, that's our show. Thank you for coming. We now return you to your regular Friday schedule. Wait a minute. Our class needs a leader. And if we ignore all our problems, they're not just going to... go away. <laughs> There's graffiti all over the walls. And those old social studies books? When are they going to replace those? And how about some better food in the cafeteria? <laughs> and if elected, I will be a voice for the entire student body. She's got my vote. You know, she would make a great president. Yeah, I knew it all work out. Do you realize how lucky you are? Yes, sir, very lucky. <laughs> what we really need is someone who will work hard to make small but real changes that will make a meaningful difference in our daily lives. Honest, loyal, decent? Well, what about a water slide? You got it. <laughs> and the power means nothing to her. Seemed pretty quiet during dinner. Yeah, well, at least we didn't have to listen to any campaign promises. Poor little guy. He would have made such a cute president. Well, I think he's better off. Actually, I'm kind of proud of him for dropping out. I didn't know he dropped out. Oh, yeah. He made a bunch of promises he couldn't keep, and it finally caught up to him. Good lesson to be learned. You cannot make promises like that. People remember. Yeah, like when you promised to take me to Europe. Exactly. Do you remember when you said that? Oh, yes, I do. I remember we, we were um, sitting at um, that place. That's right. We were drinking that wine and eating all those strawberries, and you said, Sweetheart, one day I'm going to take you to Paris. I promise. And that's a promise I'm going to keep. This summer, Paris. You can book the tickets. Mm -hmm. Paris, you and me, babe. Mom? Did Dad really promise to take you to Paris? Of course he did. Just now. <laughs>